Good morning. I'm Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about endoscopy. This topic is present in the subject medical electronics. Endoscopy. An endoscopy is a procedure used in medicine to look inside the body. The endoscopy procedure uses an endoscope to examine the interior of a hollow organ or cavity of the body. Unlike many other medical imaging techniques, endoscopes are inserted directly into the organ. There are many types of endoscopes available in the medical field. Endoscope An endoscope is a medical device with a light attached. It is used to look inside a body cavity or organ. The scope is inserted through a natural opening such as the mouth during a bronchoscopy or the rectum for a sigmoidoscopy. A medical procedure using any type of endoscope is called an endoscopy. Here is a representation of the fibroscope. Optical fibers play a vital role in medical field also. The endoscopes or fibroscopes are designed using low quality, large diameter and short length silica fibers. Here is the representation of the industrial fibroscopes. The parts that are present in the industrial fibroscope is represented here. The branchial fibroscopes, gastrointestinal fibroscopes and laparoscopes are the important endoscopes used in hospitals for examination, treatment of diseases and surgery. There are two types of endoscope. They are flexible endoscope and rigid endoscope. Usually in each endoscope, there are two fiber bundles. One is used to collect the reflected light from the area and from what we can view the inner structure of the object. The another for a camera to send the images back to the doctor. Thus, the endoscope is a tubular optical instrument to inspect or view the body cavities which are not visible to the naked eye normally. Many instruments are equipped with the endoscope. They are small forceps for taking samples of tissues, biopsy specimens for microscopic examinations in case of suspected tumor. The body cavities can be inspected either through existing orifice in the body or through the passages created with a sharp instrument so that endoscope can be inserted. The body cavity is filled with air or isotonic saline so as to keep the walls distended and to improve the optical transmission. Here is a representation of the optical transmission. The light is guided through glass fibers by total internal reflection. Endoscope parts are represented in this diagram. In this diagram, we are seeing the light guide part, light source connector part and umbilical cord part, control section part, insertion tool part and the light ports. These are the parts that are available in the endoscope. Schematic diagram of endoscope is shown here. In this, the tip of the endoscope is focused. It comprises of light guide, image guide and the ancillary channel. And here we are having a chronometer and focusing lens assembly also inside the ancillary channel. 
In this diagram, we are seeing the camera focusing lens, prism, rotating table, optic mounting ring. And in detail, we are seeing the optic mounting ring comprises of endoscopic optic. At the tip of the endoscope optic, we are seeing the prism and the zoom lens in detail. Endoscope with optical fibers representation is shown here. Figure A shows the optical fibers. Figure B shows the cladding portion that is available in the optical fiber. And figure C represents the passage of light. Figure D represents the optical fibers that are present inside. And figure E represents custom built fiber holding sheet. Cross sectional view of the endoscope is shown here. A typical glass fiber consists of a central core glass having high refractive index surrounded by a cladding made of a glass of slightly lower refractive index. For a wider field view and a better image quality, a telescope system is added in the internal part of the endoscope. In this diagram, we are seeing a telescope system. This is used for better image quality purposes. Using the fiber bundle, 10 power 5 transmitted image elements square centimeter are obtained. In the endoscope, at the object end, there is an assembly of objective lens and the prism. At the viewing end, there is an eye lens. Endoscopic pictures can be recorded with color film and the video tape recorders. Let us start discussing about the bronchoscope. The range of use of the bronchoscope is trachea and larger airways. The diagnostic problem or operation done by the bronchoscope is foreign bodies infections, aspiration of mucus. Now we are seeing the cardioscope. The range of use of the cardioscope is heart related activities is done by cardioscope. The diagnostic problem or operation done by the cardioscope includes valvular defects, septal defect. Here in this diagram we are seeing the cardioscope that is being inserted into the patient's heart and the, the valvular defect is being identified and it is being rectified through this cardioscope. Now we are viewing the laparoscope. Through the laparoscope we are viewing bladder, uterus and the gas filled area in the abdomen portions. The range of use of the laparoscope includes abdominal cavity. The diagnostic problem or operation done by the laparoscope includes tumors, family planning, operation. Now we are viewing the thoracoscope. The range of use of the thoracoscope includes pleural cavity. The diagnostic problem or operation done by thoracoscope includes tumors, air in the pleural cavity. Now we are viewing the ophthalmoscope. The range of use of the ophthalmoscope includes eye fundus. The diagnostic problem or operation done by the ophthalmoscope includes state of vessels in high blood pressure rental detachment. Now we are viewing the otoscope. The range of use of the otoscope includes 
the tympanic membrane present inside the human ear. The diagnostic problem or operation done by the otoscope are the infections, perforation of eardrum, pressure conditions in the middle ear. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video, means kindly share this video to your friends. Thank you.